when I'm on the road. As soon as I sit to film, beeping starts. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today looks a little different. I am actually on the road right now for a company trip. I have to go do some training, so I'm actually out here in the middle of Ohio just for the week. But I always film weekly wishlist or washouts on Tuesday and post them Wednesday, and I did want to make sure I got this up. So Tuesday, when I'm filming this, I hopefully everything goes according to plan, so this will go up as scheduled on Wednesday. So we do have quite a few things to go over, so before we jump into the products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series. According to the poll last week, a lot of people wanted this to stay on Wednesday, so we're going to keep doing these every Wednesday. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. So the last time I was in a hotel and I filmed a video, the lighting was like horrible and this is actually like really good lighting. I'm kind of upset because I really like the lighting in here, but okay. Anyway, jumping in. The first product that I'm going to go over is a new highlighter or two new highlighters that are coming out from Givenchy. Oh, I don't need a highlighter. I I have so many highlighters. I don't need it. I don't really need anything at this point, but these look beautiful. I know they're going to be like ridiculously expensive because it's Givenchy, but the only thing I've tried from Givenchy is a, um, a liquid liner, which is actually a really fantastic liner. So I am curious about the brand. I just don't know. I don't know. It's beautiful, but it's probably going to be a pass. Another luxury brand, YSL, is actually coming out with a stick foundation. Now, if you guys saw my almost full face of YSL, you'll see the foundation didn't work so great for me. Especially, I think I updated you guys in the description box and in the video that it broke down so bad by the end of the day that I didn't actually even want to get on camera because it looked that bad. <laughs> I've already returned that foundation. I think I returned the concealer too because it just really wasn't worth it. But honestly, I've been on the lookout for a good stick foundation that'll work for me and I'm having a lot of trouble finding one. So I'd be interested in trying this one out just to see how it works and if it works any better than the foundation. Okay, so Too Faced is coming out with a special like lipstick collection for their birthday this year. It looks like for their 20th birthday, they are like relaunching their original lipstick line, which I think is a really cute idea. I really like it. And they look really adorable, but I know for me, I'm not really reaching for bullet lipsticks much, if at all. Um, and I'm not sure about the formula for this. It's supposed to be a creamy glitter formula, so something tells me it's not going to be transfer proof, and I know just for like what I'm into, I'm not really going to reach for something that's not transfer proof unless like I'm putting it on for a video and like immediately taking it off, but I've already got plenty of products that I can use for that. So ColourPop is finally coming out with a foundation. I'm actually really, really excited for this release. The only downside, like it's, they have 40 shades, which is incredible. That's the new standard, that's how it really should be. But the downside to that is honestly, I have no idea where to even begin looking for a shade. I gotta watch some videos, I gotta watch some swatches, find someone who's closer to my skin tone and see if they've done a video on it because unfortunately like with ColourPop, you know, there's no returns. And once you buy it, you're kind of stuck with it. Um, no, most of their products are affordable. So for the most part, this really isn't an issue. But when it comes to a foundation, I don't want to have to buy like six foundations just to find one that might work for me. So I am going to do some work, try to figure out what would be best. And I am going to do a full video on that, testing it alongside the ColourPop concealer. Because I really want to make sure that those two work well together. They're also coming out with a loose powder, which I'm also really interested in the loose powder i haven't tried their pressed like face powder but i think if they could do a good loose powder they could give so many other like loose powders a run for their money like the laura mercier like that's pretty much been like knocked off even for me by some other more affordable options that i've found my favorite's been the maybelline fit me powder that is such an amazing loose powder and if ColourPop could come out with one that could knock that one off a pedestal for me we'd be in business like Especially if they keep it affordable, let me see. Yeah, the loose powder is only $9. It's really good. It's really good. Tatcha is coming out with some new like little product kits with some of their skincare products and they look beautiful. 
One's called like Walk Through the Bamboo Forest. One's called A Golden Moment at the Golden Temple. If anything, I might get that one because I've actually been to Japan and I've been to that temple and I have a picture of me like right in front of the temple. If I can find it, I'll, like, I'll throw it up too. But it, they're beautiful packaging. They do have great products. I've tried a few of their products out and I did enjoy them. But for like a long term kind of keeping up skincare routine, it was a bit out of my budget. I've had to like prioritize what I spend my money on in my skincare. And for me, I've started to focus more on um, serum. So the, really the only expensive part of my skincare routine right now is my serum. And that is the Luna Sleeping Oil from Sunday Riley. Like that's the one thing that works really well with my skin, is really helping me out. And that's the one that I will spend the, the months on because it works. Everything else is pretty much drugstore for me. I would be interested to try out one of these kits though. I've never tried anything like makeup from Tatcha, like their primer or their lipsticks or anything. So I might try to pick up either the Golden Temple because it's got like, um, it comes with the lip balm, the cleansing oil, and the silk cream, which I do really like the cleansing oil. That's the one product I have tried out. So I might try that one. Or I might try the last kit, which is Sunset over Kyoto which comes with a lipstick, um, a silk canvas, I think that's the primer, so it comes with a small primer and then it also comes with um, like blotting paper, so one of those two I'll probably try out. But you gotta admit that packaging is stunning and it comes with a little like reusable bag that you could use too. Now for the release heard round the world part, I think is it three? Part, yeah, round three of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brushes collaboration. Everyone thought she was coming out with like her own brand not sure if that's still in the works, not sure if that's just further down the road, but she's coming out with four palettes, which I think that's a great idea. Instead of doing another like large palette that she's already done, splitting it up in color families into different palettes, I think that's an excellent idea. The packaging looks stunning. You can buy them as a set with all four or you could buy them individually. They're $15 individually, which that's really affordable, especially if you only wanna pick up one or two. Really the two that really intrigue me are the top two in this picture right here. The top one has like some greens and a nice like olive and it's like dark and smoky. And then the second one down has some more mustards. It's a warm toned palette, but it's not like looking at the swatches. It doesn't look like your everyday like blah warm tones, you know? So those two I might be interested in getting, but since I'm really only interested in two of them, I'm not going to buy the bundle because, yeah, so the bundle is $50. I'm not interested in all four, so I'm just going to buy the two. It's going to be $30 for the $15 each, but they've got 10, but they've got 10 shades each, $15. That's really not bad. So I'm going to see if I can pick up the two top palettes, but I'm sure these are going to go opening day like that. So it might be hard to get a hot, like actually get a hold of them. So the last thing we're going to go over, it's actually more of a sneak peek, not a full product yet. Jeffree Star teased that he's going to be coming out with face primers. I'd be interested to see what they're going to look like, how they're going to be packaged, and how much they're going to actually be. Because if it's... Please stop interrupting me. So I'd be interested to see how much they are, how they're going to be packaged, and exactly what kind of primers they're going to be. Are they going to be blurring? Are they going to be mattifying? Are they going to be smoothing? So I'm really just interested to see more, and then depending on the price point, I may or may not pick them up. So that is everything for this weekly wishlist or washout. Don't forget to let me know down below what you think of these products, if you're going to be picking any of these up, or what you really think of them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!